So after driving the JZX 110 um, VVTi motor around for a few weeks with a short air intake um, and a pod filter mounted directly to the airflow meter housing, uh, this is a little custom one that I've made. Um, as the factory airflow meter is mounted into the airbox with a little tube that comes out of the airbox. So you can sort of hack the plastic part out or whatever, but this was just a, a piece of aluminium pipe, the same diameter. Um, so what I did was ordered from a um, computer supplier of all things, um, honeycomb. So this honeycomb, as you can sort of see, sits on the inlet side of the airflow meter and it's going to be an airflow straightener uh, and you can see sort of straight through it there there's like no restriction the material itself I'm not sure if the camera will focus this for this close it is extremely thin like human hair thin so i'm not sure i don't think there's going to be any sort of restriction there um, but it'll definitely straighten out the air so what i've seen is that these airflow meters this type um, that Toyota use here on the JZX 110 motors and the Beams 3S's and basically everything around this sort of vintage that has this style airflow meter um, is very sensitive to the air intake. So if the air intake passed the airflow meter, so if the air intake Mine's literally bolted straight to there, so you could just imagine that air comes into this filter through all different angles uh, versus the air comes into it from, say, this far away. The air has enough time to straighten out in the tube between here and here. By the time it gets to the airflow meter, it's relatively straight. Put a pod filter straight on it, and there it goes. Put a pot filter straight on it and you've got air coming in through angles through the sides and everything like that as per a typical k and filter. So hopefully that'll help alleviate the problems that I'm having. Um, they're not huge problems, just part throttle. Um, it's a little bit hesitant, it wants to stall a few uh, every now and again if you're sort of like in traffic and you need to accelerate but then the car in front of you suddenly brakes, you jump on the brakes and as the RPM comes back down again, it wants to stall out. So you have to heel and toe it a little bit here and there. But I mean, it's only the 10 to 15% of the time that that happens. It's quite happy driving around. I've been driving it like this for weeks, so it's not a problem, but I thought, you know, I'll, I'll try and sort it out. And from what I've read, um, that's it. Um, that, it wasn't that expensive. It was $15 and ten dollars shipping from america i'm in australia as you can probably tell by my accent um there's probably places around here that do it i was just hunting around on the internet and bang saw that they call it a math airflow straightener or a, a airflow meter straightener whatever you want to call it airflow meter honeycomb it was from saxon pc google them they do all sorts of sizes and densities and all the all the stuff that you think about but um Look, I'll give this a try and I'll post some results uh, in a couple of days after I give it a good few runs and, and see if it's improved it, um, hasn't improved it or hindered it or otherwise. Uh, but yeah, share, like, subscribe. Cheers.